Almost daily summer rains causing havoc on the roads. This is from a few days ago on Route 32 just outside Fort Meade. Hello and welcome to Meade Week. I'm Brian Spann. I'll have more traffic news in just a moment. Also on this edition, the latest from the VA. Register for Vacation Bible School. A preview of the Army Field Band Summer Concert Series. These stories and more, but first starting this Wednesday, July 15th, Clark Road between Rockenbach Road and 27th Street will be closed in both directions and will not be reopened. The closure is part of the construction of a new access control point at Rockenbach Road. A connector road from Ernie Pyle to Rockenbach is being built and should be completed by the first week of September. In other news, the U.S. Department of Transportation, along with the Departments of the Treasury and Energy, are holding a multi-agency veterans hiring event this Wednesday, July 15th, from 1 to 5 p.m. at the Department of Transportation headquarters in Washington, D.C. Positions include financial and HR specialists, engineers, industry analysts, economists, safety specialists, administrative positions, and much more. You can register for the hiring event by going to eventbrite.com and search for multi-agency veterans hiring event. One more reminder, you'll need to bring two valid U.S. government-issued IDs. Once again, the Departments of the Treasury, Transportation, and Energy are holding a veterans hiring event on July 15th. Elsewhere, the Department of Veterans Affairs is hosting another resource exhibit on Friday, July 24th from 11 to 1 at the Fort Meade Main Exchange. VA staff will be available to answer questions on VA benefits such as the GI Bill, home loans, health and counseling services, and much more. Once again, the VA resource exhibit is coming up July 24th from 11 to 1 at the Main Exchange. For more information, you can go to www.exploreva.gov. And in a related story, the VA urges veterans to use its employment network to open up career possibilities. My name is Dennis. I um, served in the Army from 1983. I uh, went in at the age of 17. But when I got out, then I started um, driving trucks. I had hurt my back in Germany um, during training. And back then it was just a sprain, you know. But as I started driving trucks, it started to aggravate a little bit more. With a bad back, that's not, you know, a good job to have. Chapter 31 is a vocational rehab employment program. Once you go through one of those programs, like Chapter 31, there's a network that's just out of this world as far as employment. They give you a stipend. Um, they pay for your tutoring, all your books, and uh, the stuff that I learned while I was in school as far as businesses, managing it and all of that. Um, it got me, really got my foot in the door. Once I graduated, I was looking for jobs and looking for jobs, and I went to a, a job fair at the Texas Stadium, and the VA was there. And I spoke with one uh, guy from HR, so he said, you're 30% or more. I was like, yes. And he was like, well, we can bring you into the VA on the VRA, meaning that I didn't have to compete for the jobs. So um, I went, I went to the interview, and probably later on that day, they called me. And I've been with that service since. And without that education, I don't think I would have gotten the job that I had or some of the experience that I've gotten since. In other news, newcomers to the community may not know that the U.S. Army Field Band, which tours around the world, is based right here at Fort Meade. And every summer, the band stages a summer concert series at Constitution Park. This year's series kicks off on Saturday, August 1st at 7 p.m. with the Jazz Ambassadors tribute to the legendary Billie Holiday. On August 8th, the concert band and soldiers chorus goes to the movies. The summer concert series continues with the volunteers take on America's Road Music on the 15th. And finally on August 22nd, it's the series finale with Tchaikovsky's 1812 Overture complete with cannon fire. We haven't had too much luck in recent years with the finale concert because of the weather. Hopefully we'll get to hear those cannons fire off this year. A final reminder from the Post Chapel, Vacation Bible School for ages 4 through 5th grade is coming up August 3rd through the 7th. Registration continues through the end of this month and is limited to the first 40 preschool age and first 125 elementary school age children. For more information, you can contact the Post Chapel. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great Mead Week.